Hello and welcome to the Catalog Collector. Today I'll give you a little overview of how some of the parts of a cuckoo clock work and how it produces that cuckoo sound. You can see that the back lifts off to reveal this gong. This is a gong that is sounded when this hammer falls and this is sounded for every strike of the hour. Not all cuckoo clocks have this, but most do. So with the cuckoo sound, it'll go bong, cuckoo, bong, cuckoo, bong, cuckoo, for however many hours there are. We take this off to reveal a very fun looking mechanism inside. Yeah, and inside, let me see if I can get a nice pointer here. Let's use the pendulum from the cuckoo clock. And inside you can see the escape wheel, that's this sharp toothed wheel over here. You can see that move when the pendulum swings back and forth. And that's at the end of the timing train. But here in the back we mainly see the striking, the repeating mechanism. If this isn't a repeater, it's closer to a sonnery, but a chiming clock. You can barely make out the star wheel behind that pinion. And that controls the hour snail. Now you can't see the snails anywhere here and that's not what I'm really here to talk about. I'm here to talk about these things. These are the two whistles. And yes, they are whistles. The hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo is a whistle. You can see on the side of the watch that yes, it's a whistle. These two things are teeny tiny bellows that force air into the whistles. And the cuckoo sound works by moving the bellows up and down one at a time. I think it's a pretty ingenious method of getting a whistling noise. And now we get to the fun part where I don't really have anything more to show you in here other than how it sounds. <laughs> 